So now we're going to be looking at our first application of derivatives, and this is uh, finding equations of tangent and normal lines. And the key piece to finding tangents and normal lines is you're always going to want to use, this is for any line, you ever want to find the equation of a line, you're always going to use the slope point form. Now in general, what a slope point form requires is it requires a slope and it requires a point. The point is the most easiest thing to find because in this case they're telling us the point x equals 1. So the equation of the tangent and normal lines to this graph. Well, to find, uh, I know the x value is 1. To find the y value, I just simply plug it into here. So my y naught is equal to, so this is my, sorry, my x naught is equal to 1. My y naught would be f of 1, x naught, and that would be 1 cubed minus 1, and that's equal to 0. So my y naught is equal to 0. So in general, my equation is going to look like y minus 0 is equal to some slope times x minus 1. That will be any line that goes through this point 1, 0. Okay? The key part is to figure out what the slope is, and that is where uh, the, the aspect of calculus uh, comes into play, is to say, like, well, the tangent line is the derivative at this point. So m would equal the derivative at 1. So for the derivative of x is equal to 3x squared minus 1. So f prime of 1 is equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 1, and that's equal to 2. So for the tangent line, we would use the equation line, we would use the equation y minus 0, so I just drop it, is equal to 2 times x minus 1. And I just leave it like that. You, don't, you do not have to uh, put it into slope-intercept form, which may be common in algebra, but um, for this is uh, very unlikely that anyone would require you to put it in slope-intercept uh, form. Now the normal line is a little bit trickier. Um, we have to do one extra step. If we know the tangent line, so if I have a curve and I know the tangent line is like slope 2, the normal line, which is a 90 degree here, has a slope of negative 1 half. It's the negative reciprocal. So for the normal tangent, normal line, I would do 1 equals negative 1 half x minus 1. And that's it. We're going to do this for all tangent and normal lines. We're going to use slope point form, so we need the point, and then we're going to use the derivative to find the tangent line slope. Okay, here the point is um, 1, and the y value, so the x naught is 1, the y naught is ln of 1, ln of 1 is 0, so our point is, is uh, 1, 0. Natural log of, of 1 is, is 0. Okay, and so g prime of x, to find the slope, the derivative is 1 over x, so the derivative at 1 is equal to 1. So my equation for my line is going to be y minus 0 is equal to m x minus 1 just like it was in the previous problem. So y is equal to m times x minus 1. And for the tangent line, the slope is 1, so it's y equal to x minus 1. That's the tangent. And the normal line has a slope of negative reciprocal, which would be negative 1. So that's y equal to negative x minus 1. And that's the normal line. OK, what is the point here? The point is pi over 4. And the uh, negative 2 cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So this is negative root 2. That's my, so the, my equation is going to be y minus negative root 2 is equal to m times x minus pi over 4. And so this is y plus root 2 is equal to m times x minus pi over 4. To find the slope, I'm going to take the derivative. Uh, derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is negative 2 times negative sine x, that's equal to 2 sine x. So the derivative at the point pi over 4 is 2 sine of pi over 4. Sine of pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2, so this is root 2. So for the tangent line, m is root 2, so I have y plus root 2 is equal to root 2 x minus pi over 4. That is my tangent line. And the normal line just have, has a negative reciprocal for the root. So negative 1 over root 2, x minus pi over 4. And you could rationalize the denominator of this slope if you, know, you really needed to. Otherwise, that's fine. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more examples, go to my website. In there, I have free access to over 400 calculus questions that I solve and I show you step by step. So if you're interested in seeing more, please check out my website.